You got nesting areas for the chickens. Welcome back guys to Texas Unicorns. I am gonna show you the entire process of making our chicken coop and run. We're gonna be working on phase two to get the outdoor chicken run ready for our chicken hens and our ducks. If you love our content, please push that like button, comment in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the notification bell when you're watching the videos. We will send you updates when we put out a new video. You said you don't want to walk in chicken poop to get the eggs. Okay. So I'm gonna bring the fence for the, the gate, the run here, and I'm just gonna go all the way to the end with it. I'm gonna put a door in the middle of it, and then down here, coming off of the gate, just like on that side, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna build the duck coop right here. So, so their run inside will be will be this wide to here. It'll be from it'll be from here to here, all the way across. And then we're gonna have the door, and then the door going out is gonna go out to the outside outside room. Awesome. There's a lot of magic going on. Is this the duck house? The duck coop. This is beautiful. Tall at the request of my oh wife. Oh my gosh, you did such a great job. The door's gonna be over here. That's what those hinges are for. So we're just gonna fold down. This is gonna be the front, and then I'll have a, a big U-shaped circle cut out for them to walk through. Nice. This will be the door, and the door will come up here and close into this. You got so, some uh, roofing? Yeah, that's this is for the raised garden box. Oh, okay. So that's a whole nother project, guys. Yeah. Doing a garden box. all in stages. I am just amazed at the creativity that Shane put into this coop. He had a vision and he made it happen. Look at these cute little water cups for the chickens. This is the wall that is going to get a door cut out, and I will show you that here in a minute. Over here is where the chickens can go up into their nest box to lay their eggs. They should be laying eggs here in the next two months. There's a total of eight nesting boxes for them. We have 10 chickens total. This tube is a sprinkler tube that we used. We can turn it on and off for the water supply. This is a food grade container. It did have green tea in it, and we're going to use it for our water now for the chickens. We're gonna be using some pine bark mulch, all natural for the inside of this coop. What else is going on? Look at that. We're putting a roof on the top. No critters can come. No Santa Claus coming through here. No Santa Claus is coming into this coop. This is the front view of the chicken coop nesting area. It is secure with latches at night so they can roost on that perch and then lay eggs during the day. I'm also going to be using this solar LED predator light to deter any predators. It will have a flashing red light at night. Look how cute they are, guys. You're gonna go see their chicken and duck coop for the first time. How exciting. Wow. Oh, look at the doggies. 
think they scanned the umbrellas. There's the crew over there getting a nice shower. I think it's like 65. No, 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 no. Nugget! Nugget! Oh, here's our rooster. Nugget's a boy. Are you confused? Ta-da, grand finale. Everyone gets to go in the coop. Dad will really enjoy this video. I think Haley's chasing uh, Raven somewhere. No, Raven's in here. She's oh. chasing Iris. Oh, Iris. Guys? Oh, Nugget. Nugget, this is your new coop for at night. All right, now, this is blocked off because Dad wants the ducks over here. Here's the inside that they can snuggle in. So we're just separating the ducks from the chickens for a week or so just to kind of train them to know that the ducks go in here because there's no roosting bars like the chickens like they'll probably end up just figuring it out themselves it looks so clean i don't want it to get too clean this is so cool so this is attached to the outside of the coop and it goes up and when you pull on it, there's the door for the chickens to go outside. Oh, it's so cool. So this phase two out here will be starting on next week to enclose it so that they can free range out here. And then how do you lock it? With these nails. Just like that. Sweet. My husband is a genius. Oh no, what happened? Look at all of this. So we came this afternoon and the donkeys were in here, Pablo and Mr. Rico Suave. And all of our mulch was stacked up and they took it all apart and were playing with it. And then all of this stuff right here is the chicken feed and the chicken scratch. So they got into this container and had it all over. They had quite a fun time playing with all of this. So we blocked all of this off because Pablo and Rico kept coming in even after we told them they were in trouble. All right, so we have a bunch of crap blocking this barn area for right now because we need to decide how we're going to keep our boys out of the chicken coop area they're so cute even though they're such naughty donkeys very curious oh man they keep us on our toes that's for sure this little guy here we're supposed to be taking to dump it was here when we bought the house it had some really cool energy that I could feel coming off of it. I don't know, it's just, I got the carrots for the donkeys and the horse. But there was, you know, I love vintagey stuff. I have this energy of like a person, a man, putting his whole heart into his work and his farm. Um, we do know there was cattle on this land at one time this house has had um, quite a history. And I also know that this land had Native Americans on it. So I'm trying to find more information because I've had some really spiritual experiences with the Native Americans. This is our food container that's hung in here. <gasps> Oops. Okay, well, you know what? We needed to refill it anyway. All right, so this is handy dandy because then the chicks can just eat in there. They also have two other food containers because this is only for at night and an early morning. 
Right now they are in a different pasture while we are working on the outside run. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. That's really special to us. We are meeting new people every day for our new homestead life. If you love birds, don't forget to check out my parrot channel at Love Your Parrot. I will put the link in the description below as well. I would love to see you on that channel. So we are working on the outside run. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek and we'll have that video coming up in the next few weeks. Look at this. This is so fun. It's going to have its own door on the outside. There's the door that I showed you from the inside of the coop. And it's going to go all the way over to this side. Hi, guys. Are you free ranging? All right, so stay tuned and we will show you when this is complete.